Hey traders, welcome to this video series where we talk about lessons from trading books. Now I've got a little bit kind of out of the parameters of this and we're not really talking about trading today. This book called The Mind Management Program, The Chimp Paradox, should I say, The Mind Management Program, um, and it's by Professor Steve Peters, isn't a trading book at all, but you know what, it is one of the best books for traders. If you are trading and you have struggles with discipline, with emotional control when you're trading, which is the biggest thing. Psychology is the biggest, biggest thing with trading, isn't it? We know that, guys. The strategy is fine, but the psychology, this book is thoroughly recommended to you. Now, what is he saying here that makes it so important? Well, this is basically the, the whole theory behind the book is that, you know, our brain is a chimp. So there's a chimp inside us that's purely based on you know, immediate um, satisfaction or immediate kind of uh, recognition or immediate resolve. And you know, trading specifically works very, very well for this. Obviously, other aspects of life, um, it makes perfect sense as well. But for trading, you know, when you're trading and you break your rules and you don't understand why you're breaking the rules, you know, you've got your rules out there, you've got your trading plan, you say, I'm not going to break the rule, and then you break it. This is what it's talking about. It's your chimp inside your mind that is doing it. It's not you because you can't logically explain why you've done it. And then afterwards in trading, you're like, why did I do it? It's understanding the difference between the chimp brain. And I can't remember what he calls it. It's a long time since I read it. In fact, I haven't even read this book. I, I listened to it on audio, audio books. So this is why this is so pristine. But I bought a copy of it as well, because at some point I wanted to read it. Um, as well as listen to it. But it kind of separates the mind out into different categories. And when you sort of understand that in trade from a trading perspective, you say, listen, I've got an impulsive mind, which is my chimp. I've got a kind of logical mind, which is this part of it. I've got this and I've got that. You can forgive yourself for those mistakes in discipline as long as you can catch them early. You know, one of the things he says is you, you can't fight the chimp. You can't kind of beat the chimp with a stick because the chimp is going to fight back. You need to convince that part of your mind that doing this is the best thing to do. So give the reward and whatever. And there's loads of time tips and tricks in here of how to how to you know, reinforce good behavior. And when I listened to it from the first time, I was recommended to someone who wasn't actually a trader, um, but he said, you know what, it might actually help from a trading perspective. I thought, this is exactly what people need for trading psychology. There's nothing in it to do with trading. There's no strategy in here. There's nothing about you know, holding winners, nothing about trading, nothing, anything to do, no mention of trading whatsoever, which is why it makes it such a good book. Because if you're having issues with discipline and you know, you're breaking rules, which many of us do, you know, if we admit it, many of us do, that's holding us back in our trading. The psychology of trading is, you know, we can't stick to our rules or we break our rules or we do something that we, you know, we know, we know we're not supposed to do. Then reading this book and understanding about the inner chimp, um, how it can be your best friend or your worst enemy will help you put in place structure and strategies and systems to overcome that poor trading behavior, that trading discipline, a defect, and, and making yourself a better trader, making yourself more money. Because if you ask yourself the question, you say, hey, listen, if I didn't make, you know, if, if I cut my trades that were way out of my trading plan by 50%, you know, how much better off would I be? You know yourself that you'd be way better off. Uh, you know, if I hadn't dug myself a big hole by going after, you know, losing trades and keep losing, keep losing, keep losing, keep losing. When I know in my plan, I said, stop, how much better off would you be? If you traded much more size than you were supposed to on a specific strategy and it ended up not working out, how much better off would you be? All those kind of discipline issues, not pulling the trigger, pulling the trigger too early, you know, not honoring stops, doing this, doing that. This book, Chimp Paradox, the Mind Management by Professor Steve Peters is thoroughly recommended. And in some videos in the future, I'm going to pick out specific, strat uh, specific paragraphs and specific sentences that are really geared to traders. And we can talk about them and share them. Um, but I do recommend you getting your own copy of that book. If you've got any comments, if you read this book, let me know in the comments below. If there's a similar book that you think that I should read or we should talk about in these videos, then also stick it in the comments below always looking to expand knowledge, always looking to improve. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe for more videos from me and others on this channel. Good trading, guys. Keep that risk managed and take care. Bye-bye.